Welcome to Runway Academy. Today we're going to be talking about shooting footage for your product ad. My name is Ian. Let's get started. When it comes to shooting footage for your ad, it's easy to fall into the rabbit hole of production needs. What camera should I use? Do I need professional lights? Should I rent a studio? Is this going to cost me a lot of money? The simple answer is use what you've got. Do you have the newest iPhone? Great. You can shoot 4K 30fps ProRes video if you want, which is pretty insane in a cell phone to be honest. That's better than some pro cameras out there. Do you have a ring light that you normally use for Zoom meetings? Awesome, that's now a production light. and It doesn't even have to be a ring light, it can be a regular lamp if you want. You don't need to get sucked into buying a bunch of things that you don't need, so truly, use what you've got. Once we get to the editing stage, you'll have so much flexibility to change the final look and feel anyway. So now that we're ready to shoot, there's really only one step, shoot. Contrary to popular belief, you don't need to be a professional filmmaker to shoot a commercial. And to prove this theory, I'll be shooting in my garage with nothing but natural light, an iPhone, a phone tripod, and some random items from my house. Seriously, don't worry. We're gonna go from this to this through the magic of editing, but that comes later in the edit. But in order to get to that point, I would advise making a storyboard, which is essentially still images and notes that depict the actions in the video based on your references. So for my storyboard, I'm using Figma, but you can use whatever you're comfortable with. The visual references that you've gathered up until this point should serve as a sort of paint by numbers. So try your best to recreate those shots. Some might be static tripod shots. Some might be handheld shots maybe some close-ups and some wides? How about some slow motion? Whatever your project calls for, do your best to recreate from your references and storyboard. And when in doubt, shoot more than you think you need. When it comes time to edit, it's best to have too much instead of not enough. Now go on, get to shooting, and remember to use what you've got. Natural light is your best friend, and if you are using a phone to film, get in the habit of tapping your screen to focus your shots, and long pressing and holding will lock the focus point so that your camera doesn't hunt for focus all the time. You can also adjust exposure by sliding up or down as well. Using stuff I had around my house, these are the shots that I captured for my product ad, which is aiming to be simple and clean, all shot on iPhone, by the way. Don't worry, what you see is not what you get. We're gonna go from this to this, and then eventually to this through the power of editing. But now that I've got all my shots, it's time to upload all of those clips to my Runway account so I can get to editing, which we'll cover in the next video.